Stanley. He agrees to pool his stock with yours so you may retain control of the Tribune. Well, that's great, Gloria. Then we've nothing to fear. I'll call McDonald at once. Stanley! Calling car 174. Calling car 174. Go to Ninth and Water. Hey, hold up. Step on it. Let's go. Get away with your Tribune stock. No. no. The stock is safe. Thanks to Miss Grant, she called the police. Miss Grant called the police? Yes. Saved my life and probably yours, too. I was locked in the vault. That chemical ray you told me of just about burned up all the oxygen. Miss Grant, I'll never doubt you again. Uh, I don't blame you for dying. Knowing fall as you do. We've given a slip, Dorgan. Now we can go back and get Stanfield out of that vault and turn him over to Barnett. Yeah? And walk into the hands of the police, huh? We'll report back to Barnett.
I'll have the wall prepared at once. But in the meantime, you'd better not keep your Tribune stocks here. I have an idea, Stanley. Since Mr. McDonald is willing to pool his stock with yours in your fight to retain control of the Tribune, why not give him your proxy to vote your stock at the coming board meeting in the event you're prevented from being there? That's not a bad idea. But I'll be at the meeting just the same. Oh, no, that would be suicide. Don't you worry. There'll be no danger. I'll wear our vanishing ray. You'd better put it on at once. Yes. And then we'll go to the Tribune and talk things over with McDonald. Sandfield? No, we almost had him, and the girl telephoned the police, and we had to beat it. Well, why did you let her know you were following her? Well, we didn't know that... Oh, cut in, Cadwell, close the door. Well, Badger just told me what happened. Well, what are we going to do about it? The stockholders' meeting is only two days off. You don't have to tell me. What I need is action. Go back to the others, Dorgan, and tell them to stand by for orders. Get McDonald, editor of the Tribune, on the phone. McDonald speaking. Mr. Barnett. What can I do for you? You say the stockholders meeting is going to be held at your office instead of Cadwell's as heretofore? Oh, I see. A fire disrupted Cadwell's office. Well, Mr. Barnett, under the circumstances, if the other people are agreeable, of course I am too. Goodbye. I was just thinking about you. And I of you. That's why I'm here. You know, McDonald, there's a fight looming, a big fight at the coming stockholders' meeting. And I'm anxious to know if you're really going to stand by me in the battle. Stanfield, your father started this fight to break the powers of Barnett in this game. He's not here now, but he left me to carry on. I'll stand by you and fight this thing to a finish. Thanks, McDonald. That's all I wanted to know. Now, what do you think of this? If Stanfield and McDonald pool their stock, they'll control the meeting and beat you. We've got to keep them apart, or prevent one of them attending the meeting. Well, I'll see to it that Stanfield isn't at the meeting, or that I have a proxy to vote his shares. Well, that ought to fix it. But to be safe, I'll work out another little scheme I have in mind. And in the meantime, I'm going to have a talk with... with that girl. Then it's your plan to keep away from the board meeting and have me vote your proxy with my stocks? Yes. You can rely upon me and can disappear until after the board meeting so Barnett won't get a hold of you. <laughs> well, I'll disappear. You can count on that. Well, that's settled. Stanfield. Why, he took it your word and disappeared. Well, he sure is a fast worker. Hello? Yes, hold the wire. For you, Gloria. Yes. This is Miss Grant. Who? Oh. I'll be right over. It was a rather urgent personal call, Mr. McDonald, if you could spare me. That's all right. Go ahead. Thank you.
There's a young lady to see you, sir. She was here once before. She says you're expecting her. Oh, oh yes, sir. Uh, send her in. Yes, sir. Oh, hello, Gloria. You want to see me, Father? Yes. Listen, I want you to help me instead of fighting me. What do you say, huh? Why, nothing would make me happier, Father, than to work with you and help you. Good. Then here's your chance. I want Stanley Stanfield's Tribune stock, and I want you to influence him to sell it to me. Well, that's impossible. Why impossible? Stanfield needs the money, and I'm willing to pay him his price. Just why is the Tribune stock so important to you? The Tribune is the only paper that is opposing me, hampering me. But I, too, am opposing yeah. you in the hope of reforming you. You know what happens to those who oppose me. Father, please don't threaten me. Of this, I am certain. You will never get control of the Tribune. Oh, no? Well, we'll see about that. Yes, at the stockholders' meeting, you will see. What do you mean by that? Stanfield and McDonald will be at the meeting. They'll explain what I mean. for the stockholders' meeting. Just a minute. You're taking my electric torch and death ray. You may need them. <laughs> no, thanks, Professor. You don't think I'm that bloodthirsty, do you? All right, have it your own way. But I know what I'd do if I were in your place. Come on, Gloria, let's get started. Jorgen. Keep a close watch on him. I'm sending Kent and the others over right away. Send Kent up here at once. Now wait here for me, Gloria. And keep the motor running. I may have to leave in a hurry. Be careful, Stanley. Don't worry. Oh, Kent, just a minute, please. I'm sure someone called. I have a feeling... Well, you'd better get inside. Mr. Barnett is waiting for you. Well, it's darn funny. I'd have sworn someone called to me. Do you want to see me? Oh, yes, Kent. Dorgan is holding McDonald over in Frisbee Island. Get Stroud and Badger and fly over there on the plane. The plane? Where is it to pick us up? In the field above Ocean Pier. Uh, flying always knocks me out, boss. Couldn't we take a motorboat? Talk sense, will you? You know it's impossible to land a boat on Frisbee Island. And watch yourselves. I don't want any slip-up. We've got to keep McDonald a prisoner until after the board meeting. All right. I'll get Stroud and Badger. They're waiting for me downstairs. All right, and have Dorgan radio me the moment you arrive on the island. Yes, sir. Gloria, we'll take Kent's car and food. What's happened? I'll explain later. Come on. Thanks, Abby. That's Stan Field and the girl. They've got our car. Take theirs. No follow them.
are you? What do you want? Jump! 